um, here we have the story of Iskri, but within that, that history of Iskri is um, the Ipswich Caribbean Association. Now, I was a young late, um, teenager, my late teens, when I first found out about the Ipswich um, Caribbean Association, ICA, at the, you know, known as ICA. I came into this whole scenario when I was in, my, in, 19, in the late 1980s uh, as a volunteer, actually. And um, I was very passionate about Saturday schools, supplementary schools, um, and so I joined the, you know, joined the committee. So the inspiring leaders, Del White and Charles Challenger and Harold and, you know, Alberts and so on, they, they, led, they paved the way. They were, they, I saw them as my elders really, because they were helped to build and shape um, the formation of the association. And I came a lot later to want to carry that mantle on as a young adult. And so I joined the committee that people like, you know, saw my skills and um, Isaac Ture and a few others of us set up uh, the youth club there, you know, so um, every evening we had the young people, we wrote bids for our projects and we had an amazing diverse youth club for black young people, got them off the streets, got them into knowing their history and culture and actually that led to lots of other things around raising aspirations and educational needs, so that led into a supplementary Saturday school as well. Um, the, the wonderful thing about the Ipswich Caribbean Association was it was a safe place that people of um, diverse backgrounds could come. You know, culturally you had the food that reflected your heritage, you know, um, you felt safe, you know, you felt safe. Um, you were free from the racism that was, you, you know, often many of us experienced outside in Suffolk and it was a safe place. But what I learned was a great deal of skills as a volunteer, you know, being on a committee, um, learning to be a chairperson, learning to be a note taker, getting involved in projects. Um, so for me, I saw the karate club and I was part of the conferences. Um, I was part of the luncheon club where our elders sat and ate together and bust some jokes and they reminisced about Caribbean life. And those things help to improve health and well-being for our elders, you know. And so for me, it was the epitome, epitome of greatness, really, that we are our own centre in Suffolk. I um, mean, sadly, it's not around today. And obviously, it's something part of my vision that we work towards again, because um, the young people who were there in this picture um, and now grown and we have the younger generation coming through who are experiencing many of the same issues around racism, around cultural stereotypes, around stop and search um, issues, disproportionately being stopped and searched in Suffolk, issues of higher levels of unemployment. So in many cases some of the issues affecting the black community in Suffolk is still here with us and so having a centre um, which embraced all cultures actually, it was open to all, it's just that we were celebrating our heritage and culture as part of um, this legacy. And so for me it was um, an image of intergenerational legacy building, that's what it stands for for me. And um, it was really sad when it, when it folded actually, it really impacted on me to see that it's now a car park. <laughs> and so for me, I continue to work with like-minded people to, um, to raise a consciousness of our community so that we can continue to build and address some of the social challenges and eradicate racism from our community. So this really is such a powerful um, journey that's been depicted by Dan Malone in cartoon form. And just standing here, it really resonates because it shows a whole history of a group of people coming during the Windrush era, giving up a lot of life, giving up a lot of sacrifices to make it to the quote unquote mother country. And the mother country, not in all, not in all situations, but for many, wasn't actually very embracing and welcoming. And um, they found their ways to make it work and bring forth the next generation, you know, which is people like myself.